Bill says, of course, this is indeed a press conference dealing with transactions recently done in Rayland Reborn. And first up, we are going to be seeing a match here while this is going on, featuring the only available free agent at the moment, Jerry the King Lawler. Going to show off his talents in a tryout match against IRS, Erwin R. Scheister. Singles and uh, let's You're take a look at the transactions this. that happened. Ever since the month ended, it's been talents. pretty heated. Uh, WCW, World oh, Championship Wrestling, they have released Alicia Fox on RFA, along with Enzo and Big Cass, a whole tag team there on RFA. And they released Doink the Clown on RFA, and Dash Wilder on RFA. After that, they went on to release Hunter Hearst Helmsley on UFA, and Rowdy Rowdy Piper on RFA, and Stunning Steve Austin on UFA. That was all the releases made by the World Championship Wrestling Company, WCW, and the types. Um, with that said, as far as the RFA and UFA, what that does mean, for those who don't understand, restricted free agent means that they have to be picked up for their base and their bonuses together at the very bare minimum as far as for an offer on them or even a bidding war going on. It has to start there either way. Now, if you're unrestricted, you could start at any price, beginning with 1,000. So that is the ruling on that. Um, up next, we also have uh, Jerry the King Lawler coming out here now. Free agency is the hottest free agent because he's the only one out there. Um, ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling released Bray Wyatt on RFA. And Jerry the King Lawler, as you see here, coming to the ring on RFA. He's worth $1 million. And they also released Ty Dillinger on RFA. That was all the Extreme Championship Wrestling ECW released. After that, Triple A, Lucha Libre. Soon to be changed into Lucha Underground, possibly, by rumor. We're not sure. We'll see. But they released Eve Marie on UFA. That was all Triple A Lucha did. And then the National Wrestling Alliance, NWA, signed Bray Wyatt for six months, half the year, at the tune of $3,720,000. And they also signed Enzo Amore for three months at half a million dollars. So that was all the signatures by NWA. Splitting that tag team there for the meantime. And reuniting Bray Wyatt with Luke Harper, it seems, as of recently. And here comes IRS now. IRS making his way down the aisle. He is from the WWF. One half of Varsity Club. Um, New Japan Pro Wrestling and JPW signed Big Cass, the other half of that tag team, for half a million. Three months. That was all that they signed at that moment. Uh... ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling signed Doink the Clown for five months to one million dollars. And then turned around and did the same thing with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Same offer. Same months. That was all they signed at that point. And AAA came back around and decided to start signing people after having released Alicia Fox. Or not Alicia, sorry, uh, Eve Marie, my apologies. After having released uh, Eve Marie, AAA decided to sign Alicia Fox. They signed her for two months at a quarter mil. Both men entered this match with tidal waves of and they also the signed Stunning Steve moment. Austin, who is now going to be going to the chamber after winning his qualifying match. Two six months, half the year at only 100 grand. Well, would make a sailor blush. And Bottle New Japan Pro Wrestling oh, decided to sign some more signing. people. And you know what? Signing Dash no Wilder way. for four months at $300,000. And Ty Dillinger for half the year at a quarter mil. And that was all that they would go on to sign. And two more to note here. Extreme Championship Wrestling came back around again. ECW for two signatures here. They signed Eve Marie for 50 grand and Hunter Helmsley for $110,000. And that is all the transactions at this point in time that happened 
through this week. I'll let you know any other weeks, uh, whenever there is any trades or signatures or releasements. Any kinds with a, another transactions press conference on a Sunday or Saturday, depending on how things go. Well, uh, that is if there are any. If there are not, then nothing happens. And in the meantime, enjoy this match. It's a tryout match for Jerry Lawler to uh, maybe impress some people who might want to be interested in scouting him for the future. Uh, but yeah, he's taking on IRS here. Let's catch this match and see how it goes. Extra slow getting back to his base here. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Oh, trying to put him away. Oh, a couple laughs and a hard right from Jerry Lawler. Calling to put away IRS. Uh oh. Wait, he's got him. He's got IRS. Pile driver. Oh, he busted open IRS with a pile driver. Oh, my. He's going for the pin. One. Two, three, Jerry Lawler wins his tryout match here. Hopefully he impresses the scouts. Good job of Jerry Lawler there getting the job done. He saw some good lefts and a hard right, followed by the pile driver that busted open IRS for the win. As Jerry, the King Lawler, celebrates now. Showing he, he's still the king of wrestling. After winning that match. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. All right, folks. Well, thank you for tuning into this press conference. Hopefully you feel well acknowledged and enlightened on what's going on. If you have any questions, any comments, concerns, please feel free to let us know. If you're wondering about anything going on, let us know, and we'll get back to you. So thanks. Goodbye. Have a good day. And a great week.